Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here with a review of Transformers Animated Electrostatic Soundwave. Um, so this Soundwave is a repaint of the original Soundwave. However, he, instead of coming with a guitar that turns into laser beak, he comes with a keytar that turns into rat bat. So while the toy itself is a repaint, it does come with a brand new accessory that I'm sure a lot of fans are dying over. Um, picture of Soundwave and rat bat right here. And Decepticon, Electrosax, Soundwave, Keytar converts to Ratbat. Uh, Ratbat is right here. He is looking pretty awesome. Um, you may be thinking, what's an animated toy doing out on the shelves when Revenge of the Fallen is big? Um, these are just some leftover animated figures that are now getting released. Um, it's Cross Cells, or Waspinator, RC, and Samurai Prowl. Uh, RC and Cybertron Mode Ratchet are going to be... Um, Toys R Us exclusives. I'm not sure when they're going to come out exactly, but uh, they're Toys R Us exclusives. And Electrostatic Soundwave comes shipped with Freeway Jazz, which is a jazz that is inspired by the uh, movie Deco. Anyway, uh, for a bio, it says, After a couple of years working alongside Laserbeak, Soundwave realized it was time for a change. His new partner, Ratbat, lets him lay down multiple tracks of sound at a time, creating frequencies that can do more than just control other robots. Now Soundwave is into straight up mind control. Using complex synth beats, he can make people and even the Autobots do whatever he wants, which was displayed in the show, actually. Um, it says Galactic Powers and Abilities invented a note that can actually rock a robot's face off. That is badass. Recently got really into old Earth Westerns, and Ratbat synth mode fires lightning bolts. Good to know. Okay, so here we have electrostatic sound wave in vehicle mode with rat bat attached to the hood. Uh, like I said earlier, rat bat is an entirely new addition to uh, Soundwave's little group. Uh, Soundwave himself is just a repaint. Uh, let me bring the camera down just a tiny bit more. Okay, there we go. Um, basically, he went from blue and more blue and gold to um, this grayish gunmetal uh, gray, gunmetal black, whatever, uh, kind of color scheme uh, with the gold Decepticon logo right here on the hood and a bunch of, I can't really say flame designs because they're not, but uh, it's like a pinstripe rocker design or something along the lines of that. But uh, mainly the details of Soundwave are still there, such as the sides of his door and the back and the um, buttons on the front. So overall, he's exactly the same. Uh, we'll take a look at Ratbat real quick. Um, here's Ratbat in Bat mode. Um, he can like, I guess he can make like some sort of like spider if you want to get creative. But um. All he really does is his wings move. Uh, and then to get him into keytar mode, you just fold him inward, which makes it go like this. And then you just line up the uh, spaces. And plug him in. And then you twist his head around so it's straight. And there you have keytar rat bet who uh, Soundwave can hold fairly decently. Um, I kind of like this better than uh, Laserbeak 1 because it's Ratbat, and 2, it's a keytar. It's kind of funny. Uh, so here we have Soundwave again. Um, not too much else to go into with the vehicle mode, so let's get to the transformation. Uh, what you want to do is just kind of like pull them apart like so from everywhere you can. The, this is the chest area. You'll fold that down for now. And like I said, just kind of pull them apart. There's actual steps to this, but uh, I don't really do steps too often. You're going to want to fold each of these front panels up.
I can get this one fold up. There you go. <clears throat> and fold this around to form a leg. And to form a leg, uh, flip those around because you're gonna, going to fold them at the waist right here. So there you have two legs. Uh, his arms are pretty much already formed. Um, just fold the wheels outward. Fold his hands out. This one's really tight. There we go. And then fold this entire chest cavity up. So it kind of is even and locks into place. Make sure the arms are all the way down. There we go. And then bring his head down. So you have animated sound blaster pretty much. Um, this one was in the episode where um, Soundwave comes back and uh, takes over the minds of the Autobots and they get trapped in this little virtual reality business. Um, and so this was one of the representations of Soundwave inside that virtual reality world. Uh, along with one that was designed after uh, the white device label Soundwave. And then the normal sound wave was in there as well. Um, so yeah, um, detail-wise, uh, it's pretty much the same. The detailings on the door panels. Oop. He falls. Uh, head is very sound wave-esque. There's no mistake in that for pretty much anyone except sound wave. And now he's got these little uh, speakers up by his uh, head. And the wheels form a nice little speaker system on his shoulders, too. Uh, but details pretty much remain the same, so nothing really awesome to point out. Uh, Articulation-wise, he's got foot articulation, technically. Uh, knee. It's a swivel. Uh, thigh, leg. It's on a ball joint. Uh, the shoulders are just on a pivot, like this but they do go back and forth and then a ball joint right here at the elbow with a swivel that connects it to the arm and then his hand just kind of goes like that his head does rotate it is on a ball joint even though it can't get the full range of motion of a ball joint uh, but it is there So there you have it. Uh, we will go ahead and attach a rat bat. Um, I'm still not entirely sure the best way to go about getting rat bat situated on here. Um, but we will go ahead and have him kind of hold it up here and peg in down here. So you, he can just like attach it here and just start clubbing people with it. That's always a fun time. Something like that. Uh, it, do, it doesn't quite work as well as uh, Laser Beak did in terms of hand position. But um, it's definitely cool nonetheless. And a uh, guitar is one hell of a weapon. Um, I really like this mold in general. Um, the addition of Rat Bat is a great plus in my opinion. Um, it's better than just giving us laser beak redecoed as buzzsaw or something. Um, but overall, I highly recommend this mold either as sound wave or electrostatic sound wave. Uh, basically depends on your preference of blue over gunmetal black. Uh, so that is about all. Highly recommended. Um, he should be available pretty much everywhere now. Um, I've seen him at Toys R Us and I've seen him at Target. Walmart should be having them already or getting them soon. Uh, but he's a mass retail release, so he shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, so anyway, uh, for now, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, I'll see you later.